Inspiration for the birds was based off an event where animals, specifically birds, were literally die bombing themselves into sidewalks, into cars, windows, into people even. And there was no obvious answer as to why, other than like Mother Nature was going berserk. But no, it turned out like something that poisoned these animals. And I think it had something to do with the fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, it's... so kind of toxin was being leaked into the water, the fish absorbed it, the, the fish got eaten by the birds, and then the birds, yeah. Died. And then the people ate the birds, and the people turned into zombies. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, yeah, that's, sure. that's a con- There's a concept that terrifies me, because it's a possibility that it could make the jump, because, like, it jumped from insects to- I do believe it jumped from insects to avian creatures. Uh, but it's the Cordyceps virus, which is the, it's the, it is the linchpin of the story of The Last of Us. Isn't that because it's some kind of fungus? Yes, a fungus that actually exists that infects ants, spiders, yeah. and I think there was one instance where uh, it infected Give me another bird. sun. Thank you. Yeah. No! I'm out of rent. Wait, like, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. That, that's terrifying. Because yeah, it literally... It's also terrifying when you think, like, the, like, fungus is the largest organism, like, on Earth. Like, the largest living organism. And it's Some... a few plant okay. lives that has a different method of completely getting rid of. Yes. And it, like, the underground, they can connect over thousands upon thousands of, like, they can span an entire continent. And one, like, connected network of fungus can spread across Shit. an entire continent. Forgot I need more sun exactly. power. Come on. That's terrifying. It is very terrifying. Like if it just like if Cordyceps made the species barrier jump to humans or primates in general. <laughs> it's like, oh, I killed the thing that's carrying the infected spores. I punched a bunch of holes in its body. What the fuck is this that it's leaking out? Oh, it's more spores. No, wow. that's just reminding me of uh, Return of Night of the Living Dead. Jesus Christ. Here's the thing, uh, just uh, burn them. Burn them all. No, it doesn't work. Okay, have you seen this movie? Yes, I have, but I'm like, I'm, I'm saying yeah. for the Cordyceps virus, just burn it, because fungus... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that'll work, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> that movie. Oh, God. This reminded Ooh, me of a game wait. I remember playing when I was younger. There was an actual, like, arcade game that was, like, big when I was younger. I don't know if they can find it anymore now. It was called The House of the Dead. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I yeah. went to a Dave and Buster's that had House of the Dead, House of the Dead 2, House of the Dead 3, and, like, a brand new one that monitors your heart rate. Oh, God! There's one that ha monitors your heart rate? You know it's gonna be terrifying to then. Oh, no! Dude. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, it's another topic. one. I know I haven't I haven't talked about it in a while, but uh, there are certain scenes in HBO's Chernobyl that I swear are more horrifying than most complete movies. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Because yeah. No, there were actually two scenes in it in the show where they actually had to, and this is HBO who doesn't mind showing you blood, gore, and brothels, um, or orgies. Um, they had to censor out two scenes just specifically. So believe it or not, the um, the diver scene was actually even more horrifying in real life than portrayed in because of the two details they left out. Yeah. Um, two major, well, two major details. There are a few differences too. And then there was also that. Um, okay. Um, even though you are told what you're looking, what uh, Homyok was looking at later, um, Akino not having a face was also a hundred percent true and. Even HBO stepped in and said, we can't show that. That's too much. Yeah, you know you're fucked when HBO says, we can't show that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I can't. Show and they showed My the favorite. gun firefighters on the bed, and holy fuck. Yeah, yeah imagine yeah. the key yeah. from that He had no face. <laughs> My favorite scene from that entire series is, what's that? Reaches down, gra like, is that graphite? Reaches down, picks up graphite. Just Don't touch it! And your hand burns off. Well, no, he didn't know it was graphite. The firefighter didn't know what it was. He's like, hey, it's silly. What's it's silly. What's this? It's like, I don't know, Misha. What? Don't fuck around with it. Oh. What's that? What's that? No, they, no, it's like, the thing is, they were already dead when they got there. 
when they Pretty when much, they touched yeah. that ground, they were all dead. What the fuck That's am I doing with a taco? Also, uh, the other thing, the other problem too is, and you see this in that that nine one one. Well, it's not nine one one because it's Soviet territory, but that emergency call is the real emergency call. There is no redubbing of that or anything. That is the real computerized transcript that logged the emergency call. No, That's the I original wanna, footage. I, I really want to rewatch it again because it is, it is a chilling call. But the thing is, the firefighters said hospital number. No, sorry, fire department number two. They were only told it was, a, depending on your translation, a roof fire or an electrical fire. They, yeah. There was no mention of radiation, and they didn't have any gear to do anything about that, even if they were told the truth. Huh. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's horrifying. No, I mean, I remember I was watching this with Aeon and Solar, and I was gripping both their hands super tightly and crying at the same time for this entire first episode. I showed Aeon and his dad the first few episodes, and yeah. oh my god. Yeah, we finished it too, we really loved it, but uh, what was another good one? Um, oh, 90 seconds on the roof. Oh, Jesus! God. The roof, see, yeah, when they're, it's all done in real life. Yeah, time. Yeah, it's done real time, and it takes it off as though you're on the roof with them, and just instead of yeah. a shovel, you've got a Geiger counter, and you're just following them around. I love that, though. Oh, god. Yeah, no, no uh, it's just t pure terror. My, my mom told me of a, a similar situation because she was around for what was the equivalent of, it wasn't as bad, but it could have been. Um, yeah. She was in Harrisburg for the Three Mile Island explosion. Oh, Three Mile Island. Right. Three Mile Crater. She was there with her family, like with, with my grandparents. And she remembers like people fucking run, like sprinting through Harrisburg, just losing their goddamn minds. Because they were worried that it was going to be another Chernobyl. Well, Three Mile Island happened first. Three, three Mile Island was seventy nine. Yes, it was seventeen. So it was first. Yeah, yeah. Like they yeah, thought yeah. that it was Chernobyl was uh, seven years later. Yeah, like they, my mom, like they thought that they were going to die. Yeah, no. Um, it's funny enough they actually do because uh, it's the show was never against nuclear power. If you watch the fifth episode, they're kind of all about that. Um, yeah. Uh, but what they also but they also get a long lecture as to why Three Mile Island really wasn't really wasn't ever going to be like as much of a disaster as many people worried it would be, and he gives up a long rant about everything that Western reactors have specifically to prevent this exact thing. I don't know remember that for any of these. An RBMK reactor is from 1954. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but you need to listen to the soundtrack. There is one called The Door, and it plays during the scene where. Um, they're like, hey, we have to check the reactor. We have to check the reactor and lower the control rods. It's like, I don't think there is a reactor. I don't think there is a core. Yep. And then, and then they hold open the door, and the two guys look in. You see the fucking fire. It, that song playing in the Desert background. Desert Samurai. Is I don't cold. have enough to get the flower. It's um, it's, 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 it's called the door. No, it's called the door. And believe it or not, there are no musical instruments used in that song. Every sound you hear. I don't have enough, Rosaria. Are just recorded sounds from an RBMK reactor played to music. It includes fucking fire and a malfunctioning alarm break. system as part of the music. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a killing song. Like it makes you just demonically uncomfortable. Yeah, I love it. Oh, <laughs> I would love to see a like mini series done about uh, what is it, Centralia? Centralia would be interesting. I would like to see yeah. that. I because, think like, some... it, imagine being the miners trying to get out of there. Yeah, like, um, there's another thing, too. Like, I think the reason why Chernobyl became such a huge story is because it happened to have a lot of things lining up. Like, for instance, it, every problem of the Soviet Union was somehow exposed by that one event. Yep. So it became something poetic because there really was something. Yeah, there's the gif. There, yeah, that. That right. scene. <laughs> oh my god. So these guys were already, you can already see their faces burning on a molecular level. Um, yeah. Because it, it looks like sunburn. These guys, these guys were already dead, and by the, the time you see on? them next, uh, you don't actually see what happened to one of them. He just mentioned, it's like, where's the other guy? He's like, he collapsed in the hallway. He, or it's like, he coughed blood and collapsed in the hallway. 
but you don't even see him after the, after this scene. You um you just hear it vaguely mention that he that he uh, started puking blood and collapsed. He died. He died, obviously. I just yeah. I just I just looked up who founded Centralia, Pennsylvania, and this is fucking poetic. Aeon, you're gonna get a kick out of this. Shit. Sure. The founder's name was Jonathan Faust. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> but, you, know, you know what's weird about that in Pennsylvania, though? America, like Germany, has two Faust stories, and they both fulfill the same cultural role. So, um, to the point where there actually is a historic marker in New Hampshire for the American Faust. Yes, I know. Who was a real story. person. Yep, yep. Yes. Tried to trick the devil by uh, digging a tunnel under his shoes because he had to fill it with yep. gold. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and then we got our more sophisticated Gerter version uh, in the form of uh, Irving, Washington Irving's um, The Devil and Daniel Webster, which is a really good play. Not, and I'm not just saying that out of bias because it is New Hampshire state propaganda at its finest. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. But I love it. I, but it's so like, unapologetic about how much it's so patriotic for New yeah. Hampshire that I just can't help but love it. <laughs> and it's a power story. I just imagine just Jonathan make my town great, make it profitable from whatever lies beneath its soil. All right, but I'll be coming back soon to to collect on that bargain. You realize? Oh, no, I did it. It's actually wait. I just remembered something. I might be a published author, and the story I wrote Are you that might have been serious? published. Yes, I'm totally serious. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but no, I am serious when I say I might actually be a published author and not know it because I never checked the confirmation on it. So six years ago, I submitted a short story to a writing magazine, a uh, literature magazine as part of Advance, <laughs> Honors College, Honors College of Creative Writing. And so we had to publish. And uh, I sent it in, gave the confirmation that was my grade, I never checked. So it's entirely possible that I'm not only a published author, the story that I would have published was a story about an urbex explorer encountering an ifrit in Centralia uh, after he and his friends uh, sort of go trip, sort of have an urbex trip in it. Okay. So yeah, I might be a published author, and it might be about this specific idea of a fire demon in Centralia. That's perfect. <laughs> I, I really do wonder if I'm published, though. <laughs> I should check. There is a there is a website called What to Do in Centralia. Oh my god. Yeah, don't fall in the sinkhole if it opens up. You're fucked if you fall don't, into the sinkhole. Don't fall in the sinkhole. Don't breathe in the toxic gas. Yeah, no, no. <clears throat> don't drive on the pavement. Don't walk on the pavement. Don't stand on the pavement. Just don't just go. Just don't go there. Just don't go, guys. <laughs> Don't go there, girlfriend. This is coming from somebody who lives in the same state that this happened and went there to visit it. Just don't go! Like, fucking... It's not worth it. Oh, but it's the inspiration for Silent Hill. I want to see if I want to go into Silent Hill. No, yeah, there... we'll go... No! We'll go straight to hell. You'll fall in a hole They're and go straight all... to hell and burn. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, should, and chat, should I watch Chernobyl? It is very amazing. It is very intense. I'll say this. If you can handle episode one, you'll be fine. Because episode one does have, is like a pretty good metric for how intense it can get. Because, I mean, it's like the disaster as it happened. So, like, a lot of the most intense scenes are, like, right there. Yep. This is... Actually, the... oh, I just, uh, no, I, go ahead. I just, this is the, this is the church that is still being used in Centralia. Move People it. still yes. used to go there. No, I, I heard about this place. Okay, yeah, the, the one place that's still, like, Safe well, it's the only, it's, it's on Bedrock, it's on a, yeah. yeah. It's, on a, it's uh, on a solid foundation of Bedrock, the only place in the town that's safe. Yeah, if Gears of War was a real thing, I would have been safe in New Hampshire, because the entire ground in New Hampshire what? is full of granite. Oh, fuck? Shoots P what? forward and Me backwards. Is. You know, that would be fucking useful if I miss any zombies going by. It took until, like, near the end of the fucking game. 